Peter Peninsula stared at his map lovingly. <laughs> there was something he loved about the shape of that southern state. That and the fact that he had a vitamin C deficiency <laughs> made him plan day in and day out to steal the entire state of Florida. But first he had to find a place to put it. He couldn't put it in his backyard because his backyard was too small. So Peter thought, Alabama. <laughs> no one will look for Florida inside Alabama. Peter, what are you doing down there? His mother yelled. Oh, nothing, as he stood on the border of Alabama and Florida with a giant hacksaw. <laughs> cutting, 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 slowly. It came off. <laughs> but what he hadn't expected was Florida started to drift off into the ocean. Luckily, he had a straw. <laughs> so he tried to use that to force water to bubble it back towards shore. Nope, didn't work. Florida found itself an island out in the middle of the Caribbean. The people liked it better. They no longer had people from New Jersey coming down all the time. <laughs> and there was dancing and singing, and Florida became the hottest island in the whole Caribbean. And in fact, it became hotter than Cuba. It became extra Cuba hot. How could they keep the tourists coming to Cuba? Castro Land. An amazing amusement park of mustache roller coasters. And Che Guevara-themed mascots. Oh, people will thrill to come to our communist wonderland where they'll get to wear identical military uniforms and march together and, and sit and smoke cigars and stuff like that. Suddenly, the state police showed up. That's right, the Florida State Police, some of which had drowned during the horrible separation. <laughs> but many had survived, and they came a-looking. They found Peter still gleefully eating oranges all day long. He'd begun to turn orange, which isn't really that good a color on him. That was because he was a spring. He needed lighter colors to accent his eyes. Florida began to sink. Peter said, what have I done? What was I thinking to think that this state could exist as an island? I must take this island back to the rest of the continental United States. So he, he hooked the big outboard motor to the bottom of Florida. And as it slowly started to sink, turning more into an archipelago, actually. Which is a series of islands for people who don't know what an archipelago is. Like, who doesn't know that? So Peter decided to whip that motor into a frenzy and he started to heave that whole archipelago. Lego towards its homeward destination. Just then his mother found him. She was angry. She admitted to Peter that she had been dating Fidel Castro since the 60s. She said, honey, we're taking Florida. Back where it belongs. In the middle of the ocean next to Cuba. They're gonna combine Cuba with Florida and make a new super country called Floriduba. <laughs> And Orlando Vanna will be its <laughs> capital. Unfortunately, they put it back backwards. So it became the opposite of what was said before. <laughs> it seemed that every state in the entire union wanted to separate and form their own island and scoot about without board motors across the oceans. Peter sat there thinking, what have I done? The moral of this story is, if you need orange juice, why don't you just go down to the supermarket instead of sawing off one of the most popular states in the Union? And when you turn a peninsula into an island, you're not going to have a merry isthmus.